A good desk setup improves the quality of your work. It is minimal enough to keep your thoughts together, yet functional enough to push you through the whole day. Hi, I'm Jerry. In this video, I will take you through a tour of my home office setup. For this desk setup, I have three goals in mind. First, the system has to be functional. When I bring my laptop home from school, I will plug in one single cable and get an extended workspace. Second, I wanted to keep the space minimal, which means reducing as much clutter as possible. That way, I can focus on the most important task. And last, I wanted to enforce a good posture when at work, so I also have to keep that in mind. All desk setups begin with a great desk. I wanted to get a desktop that has a large surface to work with, so I went with a kitchen countertop from IKEA, which is in this beautiful oak wood finish. It combines high quality solid wood with veneer. To protect the surface and give it a bit more shine, I applied a layer of wood treatment oil. The countertop is sitting on two white IKEA Elix drawers. It provides the perfect height for typing and also more storage for my room. I kept some of my commonly used utensils and extra accessories there that I only take out on an occasion, while I kept some empty drawers for future things to come. Next, I wanted a chair that is ergonomic enough to sit through long periods of work, so I chose the IKEA Hadajou chair. You can lean back with a tension spring, adjust the height and depth of the seat, the height of the backrest, and much more features that make this a very comfortable chair to work in for long periods of time. Since I'm not a full grown man yet, I got a footrest instead of letting my feet hang. Now moving to the tech that powers the whole setup. I'm using the new MacBook Pro 13 inch. With a much more powerful chip and the benefits of a smaller body, in even 20 hours of battery life, I'm able to use it on the go without any problem. To save more space on my desk, it is placed on this vertical laptop holder. I wanted a monitor solution that was great for multitasking, so I went with this ultra-wide monitor from LG. It offers great colors and the extra screen real estate to enhance the multitasking experience. It's got a USB-C port that I connect to my laptop, which also provides the power needed to charge the devices. But for more accessible ports, I'm using a dock that is attached to the side of the monitor using 3M command strips. To free up more desk space on my desk, I installed a monitor arm. I keep it on the side to achieve this floating appearance. You can adjust the tilt and move it around but the height is fixed to the way it's set up. It has cable management clips that does a great job of what it's meant to do. I wanted my peripherals to connect to multiple devices and switch through them with a click of a button. So for my mouse, I'm still using the MX Master 3 from Logitech. It is the most ergonomic mouse that I have ever felt. For my keyboard, I'm using the new custom keyboard that I built. I've got a video linked in the description that shows the process of me building it from scratch. It also has three Bluetooth options for switching through devices. Underneath that, I'm using this light gray felt pad. It is a soft surface for my devices and my hands to rest. I can also move it away if I need more desk space for other tasks. Also from Logitech is the ZTO7 speakers. It is quite minimal and also has a decent sound. I connected it to my monitor so the audio changes with the device that I'm using. It also has a Bluetooth mode that I connect with my phone to play some music. These days, most of my classes have moved to online learning so I wanted a solution to replace the built-in 720p webcam on my MacBook. But I also didn't want to spend the extra money on a nice webcam. So after a lot of research, I figured out a way to use my DSLR camera as a webcam. I DIY'd this monitor arm, which I learned from Caleb Pike and Matthew Encina. 
with this arm setup, I could easily mount my DSLR on the ball head and also adjust the height with the extension pole. All of the cables plug right into the ports on my monitor. When not in use, it slides off the mount and is put away nicely. For lighting my desk, instead of a traditional lamp that takes up space on my desk, I purchased the BenQ screen bar. It has a special angle which doesn't put any glare on the screen. It also has a sensor used to adjust the brightness and color temperature depending on the ambient light. Also on the desk is a wireless charger. It is modular and attached with magnets. Behind the monitor, I installed two Philips Hue play lights to reduce my eye strain when I work. It also adds some depth to my setup. I can change the mood of my whole room from my phone. Beside my desk, I have an armchair. I use it when reading or when I just want to take a break from work. On the back side of my room, I had two main goals in mind. I wanted to hold all my books and papers in an effective way, but also wanted to give the back wall a nice appearance. My room had a weird layout. With the door open, it covers almost half of the back wall. So I purchased two white bookshelves and placed them on the left side of my wall. It also had drawers to store all my stuff. I installed a shelf overhead to hold some of the decorations and some plants to add some life to the space. Since the door will hit whatever that sticks out on the right side of the wall, I hung out some of my own artworks to add some personality to my room. To further decorate the room, I hung up some more art on the wall, put on some shelves, and added some decors here and there. So that's my home office to wrap up 2020 and start off fresh in 2021. I'm really happy with the result. This is a project that I have been working on for the past month, and I'm more than happy for the results. It is free of distractions, and I can work more efficiently with this set. All the products covered in this video will be linked in the description in case you want to check it out. Please show your support as they help me determine whether you enjoy this type of content. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.